from that we've got this one which is quite interesting topic because i guess this girl's definitely put her money no her yeah well money where my mouth is basically she, she's she's there she's, she's got skin in the game let's say that so i mentioned before in the live stream about this lady i think she's polish or german who basically said she was madeline mccann the missing um english girl who went missing in i think in spain was it abifa or somewhere like that um a real you know in the early 2000s that kind of gripped the nation because you know she was a blonde blonde-haired and blue-eyed girl and it was something that was i essentially think you know every parent's worst nightmare where you maybe nip out for a bit to have some dinner and drinks with some friends you know in a restaurant around the corner and you leave your kids who are one age of 10 alone in the room and then one of them gets abducted right it's pretty you know every parent's worst nightmare that's what every parent does obviously not but yeah this lady came out of the blue and basically said hey i am madeline mccann madeline mccann hasn't been murdered isn't kind of you know no longer with us i'm actually her and you know i was given away to another family whatnot this is basically her story and i for one didn't believe it i thought she was cloud chasing but this woman has submitted her dna for testing and they're gonna find out if she is indeed madeline mccann or not so it's courtesy of new york post woman claiming to be madeline mccann submits dna test of a polish or oh, she's polish sorry okay, my bad who believes to be madeline mccann um, has submitted samples for forensic testing to determine if she is the missing brit julia faust how do you say that faustian julian Fas, faustin faustina <laughs> faustian bargain faustian interesting julia faustina um who also goes by julia wendell has been claiming on instagram and tiktok that she may be the child who disappeared from the family holiday in oh, it's portugal not spain my bad portugal due to similarities in her age and appearance she has amassed tens of thousands of followers on both platforms as a result posting under the handle i am madeline mccann but aren't you julian anyway it doesn't matter but i don't know she doesn't really look like her does she i know that picture's from when she, the girl's like I don't know, she must be like, how old is she? Seven, six, I don't know. But she doesn't even look like Julia Madeline McCann, does she? Um, the 21-year-old who submitted samples to three different forensic experiment examinations that would outline her DNA sequence, along with a 23andMe genetic test to establish her ancestry, private investigator Dr. Johnson told Radar Online. You know what's really heartbreaking about this? Imagine she submits her DNA, she finds out she's not actually Madeline McCann, but she does find out that whoever her parents are, whoever her guardians are, aren't her guardians or parents. Like, that will throw even more... Imagine that, the heartbreak. You think you're this one person, maybe it's a clout chasing thing, maybe it's real, but then you actually find out your parents aren't actually your parents. <sighs> um quote if the results come back that she's british or from the area then we are going to continue our investigation to madeline mccann and communicate with the detective in portugal we have a lot of evidence right now that shows julia is definitely trafficked from to portugal sorry from to poland from another country by an international sex trafficking group holy shit so she was actually trafficked anyway god damn it we're still conducting an investigation but julia is definitely not the biological daughter of her parents in poland wow wow but if she's lying if she's lying god damn it man if she's lying that just goes to show the levels of the levels people are willing to go for for fame because basically virality has now become fame right that's what fame is in the modern age it's to become viral it's to become verified or not now not verified because i guess you know after the whole twitter blue thing the whole relationship between verification is going to change but just to have your name in the algorithm to have it trending and stuff is really what people want nowadays more than anything and they'll do just about anything to get it so if she's lying it's a sad indictment on our times if wendell's ancestry comes from the same region as madeline's parents jerry and kate mccann dr johnson said that he will immediately send the dna sequence to portuguese investigators for comparison jesus christ there she is but they don't look alike at all, I don't think. That's Madeline McCann here on the right, and that's this Julia girl on the left. Or Ju is it Julia, sorry? My bad, is it Julia or Julia? Uh, Julia. They don't look alike at all to me. Maybe I'm being weird, but, uh, you know, because I don't think white people look alike, but they don't look alike at all, personally. They maybe look like they can be sisters, but they don't look alike, you know? Um. <sighs> but yeah, I hope she's not lying, man. I really do hope she's not. Julia Wendell, it continues here, right and left eye. What was this about? The eyes? Share it, please. 
Julia Wendell, who said that she does not remember most of her childhood, previously said that Madeline and parents have agreed to a DNA test. She claims that the details of her childhood don't match up, leading her to believe that she was abducted as a toddler and that she was a spot in her eye and a beauty mark on her cheek similar to Madeline's. God almighty, bruh. How do you find out I was a kid? I remember just, I think just asking questions, right, probably. But imagine finding out that your parents, maybe aren't your parents and it's really dark, you know, your upbringing and whatnot. Early this month, however, Powell, uh, sorry, Pavel, Powell um, Noga from the Provincial Police Headquarters in War, in War Call um, told Polish outlet uh, Gazeta that authorities had ruled out Wendell's version of events to be true according to an English translation of the original of the outlet's report. In a 15-minute video post on Instagram, Wendell and her spokesperson, a psychic medium and private investigator, Dr. Johnson. <laughs> ah, hold on. Is that person all one thing or she got she got has she has she got a spokesperson? Oh no, that's the same person. So this Dr. Johansson is a her spokesperson, a psychic medium, and a private investigator. These all sound like grifter occupations. So I hope this girl sounds like she's getting scammed. This sounds like grifter grifter occupations, isn't it? Spokesperson, psychic medium, private investigator are all kind of avenues for people who want to scam people out of money. You know, especially people who are super vulnerable, they do it. It sounds awful. Dr. Johansson said that the police officers in Poland said that she, Julia, she is not Madeleine McCann and that is all lies. She said that the pair also intend to force Wendell's mother to submit the DNA. God almighty, mate. The whole family is being turned upside down because this one girl is obsessed that she might be Madeleine McCann. Her actual parents are being outed not to be her parents. I don't know how they acquired or got hold of this baby. That's probably all up in question. Her background's in question. The trauma to the McCanns, if they are not innocent, that must be crazy. But imagine if they actually, imagine if, because the, the, there's this conspiracy theory out there that the McCanns are actually behind their own child's abduction or they did something bad to her. So imagine them at night secretly knowing that you're not our daughter, mate, because we know what happened to our daughter. <laughs> That's a bit dark. Like, oh, like they know deep down, like, you know, you're not our daughter, mate. We know what happened to her kind of thing. So sketchy insert users also speculate that wendell could be swiss girl um livia shep who disappeared in 29 2011 with her twin alicia age six there's a girl that disappeared and honestly one of the most fascinating things and i, I stopped watching it because i thought like it, it turned into um trauma porn a little bit and i started to, started to have really bad nightmares but i would watch a lot of true crime especially missing people stuff especially like it's legitimately one of the most fascinating things to kind of look at and to kind of um, read about where people legitimately disappear into thin air and they're never seen again, especially people who were, for the most part, um, somewhat stable. They had no history of mental health, no history of self-harm, no crazy family drama or trauma. And then one day they just don't come back home. Like that for me is legitimately one of the most fascinating things to watch. So imagine this, two twin girls, um, Livia Shep and her, and her sister Alicia just disappeared out of nowhere. Bamba ratted. Julia is very open because a part of me kind of not understands, but it's somewhat, there's somewhat, um, it's not understandable, but there is somewhat of a crazy warped, um, kind of a crazy warped, reason why people from like third world countries would maybe indulge in human trafficking right when legitimately people are living in the depths of poverty and sending one person off again horrible but your daughter or something to go work in the adult industry or whatnot could you know essentially hold down the entire family it's obviously horrible and corrupt and usually the money doesn't end up going back to the family but you can understand that happening when it ha when it happens in like the western world um you know it kind of gets a bit weird because you're like, hold on, this especially in like affluent neighborhoods and stuff, like what the hell is going on here? Like it just becomes really, really strange and weird and the family dynamics and stuff and basically rich people also have really strange and odd sort of like, you know, relationships and whatnot and dramas that go on behind closed doors. So you can only imagine. But yeah, this is a picture of them holding up, I guess a picture of what she would look like if she was this age, right? Uh, Madeline McCann. Uh... Jesus, bro, that picture, man. I've spoken to her about this and she's open to the idea that she, in fact, it could be any missing child out there. Honestly, that girl must be just going through it, innit? She could be in, in like, your identity, like, in, talk about identity earlier on about logic and stuff, but just imagine this. 
her spokesperson said as follows i've spoken to her about this and she's open to the fact that she could be any missing child out there not just madeline julianne just wants to know the truth about who she is she doesn't know who the hell she is she could be anybody bomba rotted one of the reasons she made the connection with Madeline is because one of the suspects in the Madeline case looks very much like a man who she says abused her as a child. Oh my God. But the same man could be connected to Madeline and other missing children. This is how predators and traffickers work. I don't know. They personally don't look similar to me at all. That's just me personally. Um, they obviously look like they could be sisters, but they look like the same person. Uh, but yeah. <sighs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Um, hopefully it works out for the girl regardless. Really do hope it works out for her. But damn, son. Damn. Um, but yeah. What can you do? What 